Did you know that you could quit drinking alcohol even if you don't have a rock bottom, even if you're not an alcoholic? And just to get the beautiful benefits and the benefits that I definitely have experienced over the past five years of being alcohol free. So I wanted to go over some of these benefits with you and how much my life have improved and anyone can do this. You don't have to have a problem with alcohol. I mean, I think a lot of us have, uh, we don't have to be an alcoholic to have an unhealthy relationship with alcohol, right? Uh, it's an, it's an addictive substance for everybody, for everybody. So that's, you know, it dumbs down your brain for sure. So I want to make this a positive video for you though, about all the benefits and not go over all this negative stuff. I was going to do that at first of just a bunch of negative stuff for let's go over the wonderful things that have happened to me over the past five years since I quit drinking alcohol. By the way, my, if you don't know who I am, my name is Mary Beth Schrutter. I am the founder of Day One Life Coaching, and I help people improve their life in all areas, whether it's um, career, you know, money, and um, or ma manifesting the perfect relationship, or your health. Health and wellness is huge. Um, and getting over addictions is another thing I do help people with. And by the way, relationships, toxic relationships are an addiction. I help people really get to the root cause of why they're feeling stuck in life. So if that sounds like something that you want to explore, find me on dayonelifecoaching.com, D-A-Y-O-N-E, lifecoaching.com. That is my website, and I do offer a free discovery call. So let's get into this. Um, so you can actually quit alcohol just for pure vanity reasons. That was huge for me. Like I was like 45 when I quit. I'm about to turn 50 in a couple weeks here. And when I quit alcohol, um, I was definitely noticing a lot of weight gain. I was 20 pounds more than I am now. And um, I lost most of that weight just from stopping drinking uh, because it wasn't only the alcohol that causes the weight gain. It, it, I mean, it is, but it's not just the calories. That's what I meant to say. It's the fact that it causes you to become insulin resistant and you start storing fat. Your body actually doesn't um, metabolize your the, the food that you're eating as well because it's got to take care of the toxins first. So your body is doing the right thing. It's like, let's get this alcohol out of our system. So you're not like, when you're eating, um, you're, you're not really burning that off. Your body's focusing on, let's get this alcohol, this poison out of our body. So that's why you notice weight gain more than just the calories. And you can over time develop insulin resistance, which was definitely happening to me, which was making me gain weight. And I'm not cool with that. Okay. I've got some vanity going on. I'm not going to lie. Whatever works for you. Hey, if it's vanity, it's vanity. But the other thing was my sleep. I was sleeping horribly and I didn't even make the connection with alcohol. Like I had to learn that about this. So basically the reason our sleep starts sucking and you're waking up at 3 a.m. with your heart racing is because alcohol is a depressant. So your body is doing the right thing by um, creating stimulants to counteract. <laughs> it's just science. Your, your body's counteracting that depressant that you imbibed in, right? So what happens is after your final drink, the alcohol has now worn off, right? And all you're left with is the stimulants and you're just up in the middle of the night you know, um, with the racing heart, racing brain. So you are overstimulated um, without that depressant in your body anymore. So I was no longer gonna tolerate that. I know how important it is to feel good. I know how important sleep is. And you're never really getting good sleep, not quality sleep when you're drinking alcohol. When it's in your system, you might be passed out you or you might be just browned out, not blacked out, but you could just, you know, just be well, some people get blacked out, right? Definitely happened to me before, but initially it's just gonna, it's just not going to um, help you with your sleep, right? You're gonna have really um, poor sleep quality, which that, what does that affect? That affects everything. Um, your, your hormones get ir ir irregulated. I don't wanna get into the negatives, but so let's say it this way. Your hormones are gonna get regulated again. I was so off, you know, my, my skin was getting just really dry and itchy and um, I was having uh, hair loss, all of these things going on from, from drinking alcohol because it was 
dysregulating my hormones. So it gets your endocrine system back in balance, which, which is controls everything, every system in your body, right? So that's really important to sleep better. Um, it's just very disruptive for your sleep. You look better, your skin gets better. So, I mean, I know a lot of us are, it's going to be vanity. It's going to be vanity before it's going to be how we feel, which is sad, but I get it. Hey, I was guilty of that too. Um, something else that happened is your relationships improve. So you're going to notice that you are able to react better. Um, when you're, if you're in a relationship, you're able to respond instead of react. You're not going to have as many knee jerk reactions simply because you feel better and you're calmer and you got better sleep and your body's functioning properly. So you are in your vibrations higher. So you're able to talk to people respond to people instead of having these knee-jerk reactions. So that's huge. Your brain fog goes away. Man, I had, I didn't even know that I had the brain fog that I had until I quit drinking alcohol and got it out of my system. It's not right away, guys. I remember Googling, how long does the brain fog last? Because I was, I was not feeling right, which um, I didn't even notice if, you know, most days because it was just my normal. Does that make sense? So once you get clarity, you're going to love it. Like the clarity that you feel from just having alcohol completely out of your system is freaking amazing. Amazing. And it's every day. So also your heart gets healthier. Like this is something that I took notes on because I wasn't worried about my heart. Um, it just wasn't something that I thought of. But um, if you're someone who has some heart disease in your family, um, it's, this is the notes that I took. It says, you might think that a regular glass of red wine or other alcoholic beverages might be good for your heart, but that is not true. It's, it might be true for light sippers. I think they're learning now that no amount of alcohol is really safe. But um, if you use more than uh, one drink a day, cutting back or quitting may lower your blood pressure levels of fat. Oh, you lower your blood pressure and also, you lower your levels of fat called triglycerides, um, and it lowers your overall chance of heart failure. So that's huge, and that's really important. Um, and most of us, you know, one, you know, I think if we're honest with ourselves, when though I only have one drink a day, especially if you're a wine drinker, we're pouring more than like the four ounces that is recommended um, as one serving. And I think that if we're honest, what, what are we really pouring? How big is that glass? So we say, Oh, I only had one glass and the glass was bigger than our head. Right? So you don't want to do that. Okay. Um, so your liver starts to heal. Um, your liver's job is to filter toxins. So alcohol is toxic to your cells in general. So they consider healthy drinking 15 drinks. Um, I mean, not healthy drinking, heavy drinking, Heavy drinking is 15 drinks for men per week, 15 per week, which honestly, let's be, that's easy to do. Um, especially if you're just a weekend warrior, you can get that 15 drinks in, you know, easy on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And for women, heavy drinking is eight or more. And remember the serving size thing I just talked about, eight or more drinks. That sounds like a lot in a week, but it's really easy to do. Um, so that can take, I mean, even just a bottle of wine. I mean, I know people, I could finish a bottle of wine easy peasy back in the day, just five years ago, <laughs> easy peasy. And it would go down and I, I definitely, how many servings is in a bottle of wine, real servings, how many four ounce servings? I don't know if you, if you know, comment below. Um, something beautiful that happens is we're going to lower our cancer risk. If we quit drinking alcohol, um, our sex life will improve. Uh, a lot of it's because it makes people a little more frisky. You, you, you're regulating your hormones again. So th that's why um, that's going to be a thing. Um, you get less sick. So your immune system gets boosted and you feel better and you, you are just going to not be so prone to like somebody, you're around somebody with the flu or COVID or whatever it may be. And, you know, other people might get sick, but you don't because you've boosted your immune system. So you have the defense mechanisms going on. Defense mechanisms. I don't think I'm using that properly. Anyway. And then the last thing, oh, it says lower your blood pressure. And of course, that's, that's something that I already addressed earlier. But um, if you drink a lot, your blood pressure is too high. You can bring it numbers down by giving up alcohol. And um, that's something that is huge. I know that it runs in my family and that's definitely not something that I wanted to keep risking 
is having to get on any type of um, medications or anything. I'm on zero medications. It's beautiful. And I... I guess like mainly I just wanted to remind you guys that you don't have to be an alcoholic. You don't have to have a rock bottom. You don't have to do anything except want to look and feel better. And that's good enough. You know, so if you're sober curious, give me a follow. I talk a lot about this. Definitely not all I do, but I definitely talk a lot about the subject um, of sobriety and just living a sober free life. I mean, an alcohol-free life. Man, I made a lot of mistakes in this video. We're keeping them. We're keeping them in because I have no shame in my game. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have quit alcohol and experienced any of these benefits. It will really encourage other people who are reading the comments to also quit instead of just going by what I'm saying. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day.